Hey guys, what's going on? You're in the secret level with Gerns, and today I got a video on how to build your own Chlorophyte and Crystal Shard farm. Uh, so yeah, pretty sweet farm to have, guys. Um, anyone that's seen any of my previous videos uh, may have noticed uh, some little Chlorophyte patches in those farms there. <laughs> so I've since done kind of like a renovation on my Crystal Shard farm, basically, to make it more efficient uh, by adding in those Chlorophyte patches as well as some other things too, depending on your needs. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we'll take a look at the main benefits obviously as well as how I have mine set up All right, so here we go So the main benefits guys are obviously number one getting a whole ton of chlorophyte ore nice and easily uh, And obviously chlorophyte ore is used for a ton of different things and um, For me personally, it's those chlorophyte bullets. That's what caused me to go through them so fast uh, so yeah, if you guys like those chlorophyte bullets, then you're probably going to want to have a whole ton of chlorophyte ore on reserve. Uh, so yeah, anyway, the next tier also is the crystal shards, uh, which are again are pretty important because they're used to make greater healing potions, uh, as well as a whole number of different items too that you might want. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's great to kind of farm there as well. Uh, also, um, depending on if you want to set it up like me, I've put some uh, kind of jungle grass there as well, and that'll give me life fruits as well as jungle bait too. Uh, so yeah, pretty sweet benefits there. Uh, now just real quick before we get to the actual farm. So this is one of my chlorophyte patches here. And uh, if we take a look at the map, I more or less have them set up at all my different farm areas uh, that I have anywhere in the caverns layer or below. Uh, now that being said actually, I used to think it was only the caverns layer or below that chlorophyte ore could spread. Um, so just in case for those that don't know, chlorophyte ore will spread to nearby mud block, turning it into more chlorophyte ore. Uh, Alright, so yeah, pretty sweet. You can basically just, you know, plant a couple uh, little chlorophyte ores like that on the side or whatever, and then a whole bunch of mud block, and it will eventually turn into chlorophyte ore, right? So anyway, that, with, uh, that being said, uh, you can see here that I made a money farm up here, and part of my money farm is uh, turning into chlorophyte, apparently. And this is actually in the underground layer, uh, just barely, like it's almost in the caverns layer. So I guess it apparently can happen in, I guess the lower depths of the underground layer because up here, for example, which is also a jungle biome, uh, it's not turning and it never has, it's been here for a long time. It's not turning any of the nearby mud into chlorophyte ore. Uh, and I've also tried planting little patches like up here and stuff and it never ever spread. So. Anyway, um, that being said, um, yeah, so uh, we'll get to the farm now <laughs> and how I have it set up here. Alright guys, so here we are at the farm and as you can see I'm in the underworld and there's a couple reasons why I chose that. The first one being because I already had my crystal shard farm here, uh, which is basically if we take a look at the map, just a long straight layer of pink ice, uh, which previously actually was my wall of flesh hell bridge of just regular ice and it ended up turning pink because this whole area became a hollow biome once I unlocked hard mode. Uh, so yeah, pretty convenient. Now if it's not a hollow biome for you guys, you can just, you know, gather a whole bunch of pink ice and plant it all along a straight line like that. Um, so anyway, since that was already there for me though, and it was pretty long, I decided to plant a whole bunch of chlorophyte patches down here just like that. Um, so the second reason too actually guys is because I noticed uh, from some of my other chlorophyte farms, the lower that they were, the faster that they spread. Uh, like the ones that were lowest seemed to finish first. Uh, so I figured down here, the lower I went, basically the faster it would go. And it, these ones do seem to finish, you know, a little bit quicker than the other ones in the caverns. Um, so, but, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. You can build it somewhere else if you want. Anyway, uh, so that being said here, as far as the distance goes between each one. I was fiddling around with that for a little while and I have each one there more or less uh, from side to side about I think 99 or 100 blocks of space something like that. Might be a little bit less. Ooh, Hollowed Mimic is back for <laughs> uh, back for a round three guys. No way. It's not happening. Not happening Hollowed Mimic. Go away. Ugh, the Stardust Dragon. Ugh, he constantly blocks my hits but whatever. We dealt with him guys. Thank goodness, I didn't want to have a third hollowed mimic fail. <laughs> All right, so um, that being said, uh, the yeah, so the dimensions between each one here are about 
99 to 100 blocks of space between each one and it might be a little bit less than that because I was kind of fiddling around with it um, so but I know it's not too much less than that because like I, I think I did one at 80 and it uh, yeah it wasn't spreading properly now as far as the amount goes here I think it's either 40 or 41 because uh, I initially planted I can't remember I think it was I'm not sure 44 or something like that or 46 and there were a couple mud blocks uh, basically you know that wouldn't spread um, so yeah this one's just finishing up as you can see these other ones are already completed uh, so yeah ready for harvesting basically um, so yeah now I, I just chose it to make it uh, you know I guess six by six to make it kind of convenient and uh, I just put four little chlorophyte ores on the sides there uh, to try to get the most surface area for the quickest spread and um, I guess I'll just harvest this one here just to kind of show you uh, so when I harvest this here I just you know turn on the auto harvest basically and I've made the bottom pathway there out of a platform as opposed to some sort of block that way I can just auto harvest it nice and easily like this without having to worry about harvesting away something at the bottom uh, and inside this chest I keep a whole ton of mud block that I would normally just keep there and refill as such so yeah very nice and convenient guys and uh, obviously while I'm here I can grab some crystal shards just like that and as you can see on the bottoms here I put uh, some jungle grass uh, with the, not too close though I made it a little bit too far away from not far away I guess but I made it about 10 blocks of space away from each chlorophyte patch as you can see uh, and that's just so that these don't end up turning into chlorophyte I don't want that I only want this turning into chlorophyte right uh, so yeah if I want I can grab some jungle bait while I'm here too if I need that uh, and I'll, I'll get like a life fruit uh, uh, usually on each section actually uh, so yeah there's one there and uh, there's probably going to be another one in this section. Yeah, so each section basically will spawn a life fruit if you want those. And uh, they're worth like two gold each, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, they, oh, <laughs> it'll also spawn plantera bulbs as well. Uh, a couple of them actually. And I initially thought, oh sweet, this could be like a plantera farm as well. Uh, but she seems to be ridiculously difficult to fight in a very long straight pathway like this. Um, yeah, like she's really fast for whatever reason. Uh, like I'll, I guess I'll show you. Fine. All right, here she comes. All right, and I'm I'm way over geared, guys. So this should be actually easy. Yeah. So uh, like I can't really avoid these battles that she keeps shooting at me, and they hurt. They hurt. So it's kind of you know a little bit pointless. Ugh. <laughs> Alright guys, so yeah, you might want to beware of those plantera bulbs, or at least use them at your own risk <laughs> if uh, you decide to put jungle grass in there too. So you might be able to, I guess, fight her a lot easier and get away with it on top of the ice as opposed to in the narrow pathway there, which was kind of dumb. But <laughs> so, but nonetheless, I already have a plantera farm here, so I've never really bothered trying that. I just kind of avoid the bulbs. Uh, so, but if you want to try it, uh, I, feel free. You'd probably have a much easier time on top of the ice, that's for sure. So, anyway, uh, that being said, guys, the only other thing as far as the setup goes is you might want to make sure to fill in uh, the area there with some wall just to prevent baddies from spawning inside there while you're harvesting uh, and annoying you, right? <laughs> so, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the video, and uh, I hope it did help. Uh, so, be sure to leave a like if it did. And as always, subscribe here to the secret level and join me, Gerns, because there's always more videos like this coming out, uh, as well as new videos too. So you'll want to catch those as they come. All right. So anyway, this is Gerns exiting the secret level. Take it easy, guys.